If you're watching this, this means I'm going to show you what the inside of an ayahuasca ceremony here in Costa Rica looks like. Let's take a sneak peek of what the inside of an ayahuasca ceremony looks like. These are just a few very short, brief clips of the ayahuasca environment, just to give you an idea of the environment ayahuasca ceremonies take place in. Most ceremonies, but not all, are held in a large circular hut called a maloca, as you can see here, hold plant medicine ceremonies, especially ayahuasca. I won't be saying the name of the location and this plant medicine retreat center due to the request of the founder and owner. However, if you'd like to email me privately for information, you're more than welcome to. The common practice is that every ayahuasca participant, which is everyone, because typically no one is allowed in the ceremony if they aren't drinking aya. Every single person in the ceremony and in the sacred space drinks ayahuasca. Everyone receives their own mattress, people bring their own pillows and blankets, and of course it wouldn't be an ayahuasca ceremony without having a bucket to purge in. If you don't know much about ayahuasca, ayahuasca causes you to get tremendously physically sick, so buckets are very necessary. And as you could see, people are gathered very closely together, making a really intimate and close safe space for everyone to be in. Okay, so this is the area building where we eat our breakfast and lunch during the day after the ceremony takes place at night. And as you could see, there's a pool, so it's really nice to go swimming and lay out in the sun after an entire night being awake during ceremony. Many ayahuasca ceremonies also have a fireplace outside. This is also typical of the traditional ayahuasca ceremony practice. Again, ayahuasca is a very spiritual practice, and many believe that you could go speak to the fire during your journey and ask the fire to take away any anxiety, fears, or worries that you have. Sitting out by the fire during ceremony, listening to the sounds of the jungle is such a beautiful experience within itself. Now, when it gets really dark, this is when the atmosphere tends to wind down and get more serious. Once the sun goes down, the signals that the ceremony will begin soon. You could see in this clip the tribal members sitting and talking in the background. People tend to turn more inwards to themselves. The talking becomes less and less as we wait for the Yawanawa tribe to announce they will serve the first cup of medicine. And this is my friend Mason and Colin, who are huge fans of the Yaonawa tribe. At this point in the night, this is when I start getting quite nervous. I know that the tribal members will call for the first cup of medicine, and this is really where you reach the point of no return. It's really the feeling you get when you are both excited and nervous and have no idea what will happen next. And trust me, you really have no idea what will happen next when drinking ayahuasca. If you enjoyed seeing clips of an ayahuasca ceremony, I'd love for you to like this video and comment below if you would ever drink ayahuasca or if you have drank ayahuasca, I'd love to hear about your experience.